welcome to Jujube DIY. Today I'm bringing you these 10 beautiful, bold, summery DIYs. So if you want to know how I created them, go get your crafty party pants on and let's get into the first DIY. All right, guys, for our first DIY, we're going to take one of these shadow boxes that I picked up at Easter time. And we're going to take some of these large craft sticks and we're going to cut them down to fit inside the back part of that box. I'm just using my scissors to trim this down. And I will paint this entire box white with the Waverly chalk paint in white, of course. <laughs> So we're just going to cut those down. And then I made a paint stain for uh, my projects today. I just used a little bit of paint and some water to mix together. And that just makes a, a stain so that that wood grain will show through. And I used these colors. And these are the same colors that I used in my last summer project. I will link that in the cards up above. So if you want to go check that out, you can. I am taking one of these sticker packs I purchased from Walmart a while back and I thought that these stickers were perfectly colored with my project so I wanted to show you that you can use stickers instead of having a Cricut or a vinyl cutting machine and create beautiful you know decor pieces even with stickers so I'm just gonna add the stickers onto um, the craft sticks here and I'm spelling out, you are my sunshine. And I will go over the top of these stickers with a little bit of matte Mod Podge just to take the shine out a little bit. And once I get those stickers all where I want, oh, I forgot the A for some reason didn't have like a cutout. So I just used my box knife to cut that out. No big deal. And then I'm just going to use um, some hot glue to glue these into the back of the box here. And here is a look at how this turned out. I think this is a just adorable. I think this would be perfect for a tear tray or just anywhere you need a little extra decor. For our next project, we're going to take some of the solo wood flowers. These are the roses that they sell, and they are just stunning. I have to tell you, I am in love with the solo wood flowers. So I am just taking some skewers. I got these ones from the Dollar Tree, and I am just going to add them to the base of the flowers. Next, I'm going to take a vase that I purchased from the Dollar Tree a while back. Just matched my color scheme here. And I'm going to cut these skewers down to create a bouquet for this project. And if you haven't used the solo wood flowers, um, I strongly suggest you give them a try. They are just stunning. I had used that same paint stain with a paintbrush to color these roses and it was so easy and they just are, I don't know, I'm just, they're stunning. They really are beautiful. So if you are interested, uh, you know, no, no uh, pressure, but if you're interested in purchasing any solo wood flowers, I will have an affiliate link down below. I get a small kickback and it is no additional cost to you. So we're going to take some of this burlap from Walmart. It was a little wide, so I'm just holding it in half and hot gluing it together. I'm just going to trim up these edges so that they're nice and neat. And then I'm going to hot glue this to my vase, but look what I did. It's too short. <laughs> oh, that's the story of my life sometimes. <laughs> so um, I will fix this here in just a few minutes. 
I was kind of racking my brain as to how I was going to take care of that. I figured, you know, it's just going to sit on a, on a shelf or something against a wall, so it won't probably show anyways. But that is just something that I couldn't let go. So I do come up with a solution. I'm going to take some of this Baker's Twine from the Dollar Tree. This is the, they sell this stuff in the three packs over at Crafter Square. And so I just have a bunch of it. And I'm going to wrap that around the vase. I'm just using the same colors that I have used throughout this video so far. So my solution is going to be to make a bow. <laughs> so I'm going to use the same burlap that I had used before. And I'm going to make a tube by hot gluing the two ends together. Next, I'm going to pinch the middle there. And I'm just going to wrap some twine right around the whole entire inside there. Or around the inside. I'm just going to pinch the middle and then wrap the twine around that. And I know you can't really see it. I am using a new setup. So um, bear with me with this video. This was a total learning experience. I'm using new camera, new software, new everything. <laughs> so here's a look at how this bouquet turned out. I think it is just gorgeous. I love the colors and it just screams summer to me. I love it. For our next project, this was a project that I had started and I had decided that I didn't like where it was going. So I had painted the top of this with the elephant Waverly chalk paint and then used hot glue to create those ridges, covered the back with paper, added some beads and a bow. And then the bottom part there was painted in the agave chalk paint. But I am going to um, paint this white so um, I had something on there and it was left over hot glue. So I was just taking that off and then I'm going to sand it real quick just to make sure it's smooth. And then I'll give this two coats of paint. Next, I'm gonna take these fruit slices. These were sold at the Dollar Tree. They are wood. And I'm gonna color one yellow, one orange, one pink, and one green. Next, I'm gonna take a small pink brush and some watered down white Waverly chalk paint. And I'm gonna go in between those little segments and make it white so it looks like a fruit. Or, you know like a lemon slice and so on I wanted to make sure that you really saw what I was doing here <laughs> So I had used my Cricut for this part of the project. I had cut this out with the Oracle 651 vinyl. And I am using the Duck brand um, contact paper as transfer tape. So it's pretty sticky. I'm just using my hands to um, get some of that sticky off. And then I'm going to transfer my design onto that contact paper. So when I went to go do this simple part, um, it kind of was staticky, and so I didn't want it to go somewhere it didn't shouldn't go. So I'm just using my Cricut mat to keep that in place while I transfer that onto my vinyl so that it is where I want it to go. And then we're just gonna add this to our project. So I want to thank you guys so much for your patience and all of your sweet comments um, with my <laughs> my mess up. Um, I did lose half of my original video footage for this video, so I had to go back and redo about four projects. 
So I really do appreciate your guys' um, sweet thoughts and all the prayers and things that you uh, offered up to me. I really do appreciate that. So here's a look at how this turned out. I love this. I think it would be perfect outside on a porch. I hope you enjoyed the DIYs so far. If you like what you see and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the notification bell to all so that you never miss a new upload from me. I like to do Dollar Tree and budget decor and DIYs. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I want to give a big thank you to all my subscribers that I have so far. I just appreciate you so much. And I know everyone always says they have the best subscribers, but I truly believe I have the best subscribers. So let's get into the next DIY. Okay, so this is one of those projects that I had to redo. So we're just going to kind of do a, a quick footage of this. So these are wood blocks from stamping up stamps i had taken all of the stamps off of the wood blocks and now i'm just taking all that sticky gooiness off with a little bit of goo gone i'm just going to scrape that off and then i will wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol just to clean it up and get it ready for paint i do go over this with a little bit of sandpaper i don't show that but i do end up painting all of those white with the waverly chalk paint this is one of those wood stickers from the Dollar Tree. I am just doing that wood stain, paint stain, whatever you want to call it. So next I used these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. Again, I wanted to show you that you don't have to have a Cricut in order to make beautiful projects. So I'm just going to transfer this uh, letter onto my pineapple. Obviously, I'm not really using a Q. This was just to show you what I was doing. And I do smell out the word summer. So that is the word that I end up using for this project. This is the foam tape from the Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to add that to the back just to give it a little bit of dimension. Here's a look at actually the project that I had created originally. I had gone around the edges with a little bit of sandpaper just to make it a little more rustic and cute. And here's a look at how these turn out. I think these are perfect for a tear tray. I love them. And I decided not to stick them together so that I could, you know, stagger them or arrange them how I want. Okay, this project is again another one that I lost the footage for. So I had created the sunshine. Um, this was just one of those photo frames from the Dollar Tree. And I had bought one in the sun and then one in this seashell. So I'm going to show you how I created that variegated look with the seashell. So I'm just using that paint wood stain. <laughs> and I'm just going to paint that all over. Giving it really super nice coats. And then um, I'm gonna go over it, just the edges with the blue. So that first layer of paint is still wet and that way it just kind of blends together naturally. And then I'll do the same for the inside circle. So I'm going to use these rub-on transfer words. I'm going to pull out words that I think, you know, make sense for summer. This was one that I did with my Cricut vinyl, There is Sunshine in My Soul Today. And then this one I wanted to just create, like, you know, summer words that just remind me of, uh, you know, being outside in the summertime. So we used Explore, Wonder, Adventure, and Discover. I'm just going to plate this, those on how I think they would look nice, and then I'll just rub those on. And then we just put it right back into the frame.
and I think these turn out really great. These are perfect for a tear tray. I had them in mind for a tear tray, but they would be great filler for any little place that you need a little decor. For this project, we're gonna take one of these wood rounds. This is a six pack from Walmart that you can pick up. And I just used a little lid there to create a circle in the middle. And then I'm gonna segment this off. And I do end up using seven different colors for this. But again, we're going with that same color scheme. So we'll do the pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then I do add in a little lavender color for this one. And I'll just paint those on with a small flat paintbrush. So here's a look at how our little beach ball turned out. I added a little um, tumbling tower block on the back so that it would stand up. And I think that this is so cute. Okay, we're well, moving on. This project here, I'm just taking one of these wood tags. These you can get from Walmart for about, I don't know, like 90 cents or something. They're not expensive. And I'm gonna use that watered down paint to stain the wood front and back. Again, this was another project that I lost, so this is a recreate. <laughs> so I'm taking these flip-flap wood little stickers from the Dollar Tree, and one set was already like glittered in that orange color, which matched my color scheme perfectly. And then I am gonna use the watered down paint to paint the other flip-flap. So these come with a little uh, sticker, like foam sticker on the back. So I took the foam sticker off of that first set and I'm going to flat hot glue those on and then the second one I added the um, foam sticker to it so that it would pop up and layer nicely <laughs> so I created a little tassel for this one um, I'm just going to tie that on so in my original one I did make a garland with uh, wood beads and you'll see that here in just a minute I think it looks really cute with just a little tassel on it. So this was the original one that I made. Um, I just painted, you know, the beads and then added some white um, yarn for a tassel there. And I think these are, of course, perfect for a tear tray or anywhere you have a little place where you need some fun decor. I used my Cricut to cut out these swimsuits. <laughs> they are so cute, I love it. This was actually an SVG that I bought off of the Silhouette Design Studio store. And then I cut them out on my Cricut. And again, using the same color scheme that I, you know, that same rainbow color scheme. So I'm taking the sign
I thought it was just so cute. So I did cut out the word summer from my Cricut and then I'm just going to transfer that on. And then I'll just adjust, adjust the swimsuit so that the, some, the word summer could be seen easy. And then I'm just going to add back the twine hanger. It came with the twine hanger originally. I had taken that out, of course, to paint. And now I'm just adding back in some white twine. So it was a little stark white for me. I wanted to make this a little more vintage looking. So I'm taking this Distress Oxide in the color a vintage photo and one of these um, these are like the makeup brushes from the Dollar Tree but they work great for ink so I just I'm gonna go around the edges and then I'm gonna brush the the makeup brush along the like the front there I just wanted to give this more of a like a vintage vibe And then I'll also go around the edges of all the swimsuits just to make them look a little more vintage. And here's a look at how this little sign turned out. I think this is adorable. I wouldn't put this outside, obviously, because it's made from paper unless you protect that paper somehow. But um, I think this is just really cute. For just some summer decor okay next we're gonna take these flip-flops these were from the dollar tree they're like the do-it-yourself kits and we're gonna paint that them yellow this was the back side of the flip-flop set or whatever so then i just drew on some of the uh, strap part here And then I'm going to paint that in with the blue color. After that is painted, I'm going to take one of these round sponges. This was a set of three that came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to make the circles. Just wanted to create a little design on these flip flops that was fun and summery and cute. And then I wanted to add a little bit right there so I'm just taking a paper towel folding it in half so that because obviously the circle wouldn't go through the middle of that flip-flop because it's like the top of one kind of like over the top of the other one so I just kind of created a half circle there then I'm going to take this paint marker I'm not sure what brand this is I think I picked it up at Walmart and I'm just going to outline the flip-flops, like the straps and the flip-flop itself. And of course, I will leave everything that I use in my description box down below. So if you ever have any questions about what I might be using, chances are it's down in my description box. But if there is something that I've used that you're not seeing, um, what it is you know always feel free to email me or just leave a comment I always try to get back to all my comments so and I love to see what you guys have to say about my projects and then I'm just gonna add a little some little dots around the big dots and then taking some white paint that I've watered down with the thin brush I'm just gonna create these little swirls And here's a look at how these turned out. I think these are so 
cute and you could hang them up or you could just set them on a tear tray or you know filler they're perfect for summer okay so this is our last project i'm taking one of these galvanized houses with the little circle out of the middle and i'm just gonna use my gorilla wood glue no not wood glue <laughs> glue stick and i'm just going to adhere this paper on top this came from a pack that i bought a while back from walmart but you know any paper that you have on hand that matches your color scheme or whatever it is you'd like to do will work perfectly for this so i'm just going to kind of do a rough cut out around the edge there with my scissors and then i will go back and really fine tune that edge with the sandpaper So I need to cut out the middle. I'm just gonna use my scissors to do a rough cut. And then I'm gonna cut off a little bit of sandpaper here, wrap it around something round. And then I'm going to use that to fine tune the inside there so that it creates a very nice clean edge. Then I'm gonna uh, use the glue on the back side to glue a contrasting piece of paper there and then I had one more of these little flip-flops left this was already painted navy blue but I wanted it lighter blue so I'm just using regular acrylic paint here to paint these a lighter color and then I'm just gonna hot glue them right into the middle of this little house and I think this is just perfectly cute little decor for Again, a tear tray. I was kind of thinking more tear tray for this stuff, a lot of it. So I think that's a really fun way to add decor. So guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you will leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. And I hope you have a happy, healthy, and blessed day. And I will talk to you next time. Bye. It's not even in frame. <clears throat> okay. Let's try this again. Damn. I'm bringing you these 10. Nope. I'm bringing you these 10 beautifully bold. Uh, That's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna try that one instead. Pants on and let's get into the first video. First video? That's not, no. <laughs> There's only one video we need the first DIY. <laughs> first video it's kind of coming up actually my anniversary I think is in the end of August I'll have to look might be a year on YouTube soon crazy okay hey what are you doing don't do that no this way it's backwards with this camera. Whoop. No, this is the way I want to go, right? Okay, back up a little bit. That's better. We're getting there. Okay. I like it. love to do bar barget 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 decor oh, that's a new thing we're gonna we're gonna go with it it's it's new decor barget <sighs> I hope you're enjoying these DIYs so far I hope you've enjoyed these DIYs I hope you've enjoyed I, hope I love to do DIYs 
DIY.